hello 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 everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel i am kanisha with currency queen budgeting i am a zero base cash budgeter in today's video i will be cash stuffing for june paycheck number two if that is something that you are interested in stay tuned Here is my bag, and as you guys can tell, I love doing this. This is a new, uh, my new money bag, and I just decided to put Currency Queen on it. Isn't it cute? My favorite color is purple. All right, let's get this money counted. We will be cash stuffing a total of six hundred dollars today. So I have 100, 150, 200, 250, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 590, 590, I am using my cash breakdown, my miniature cash breakdown here. And we will start with our bills. We will be stuffing our credit cards today. It will get $40, which will be 20, 40. Ties will be getting 50. Car note will be getting 150 today. And I am going to take this out because I decided to um, do a separate month ahead binder. And I'm going to be stuffing in this binder for my bills. So I will be taking out everything from here and then adding it to my month ahead folder. So I am going to do 100, 150 for my car note. I decided to go kind of a different direction and I was gonna save that for a different video, but since I have to actually stuff this envelope today, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of this. I was only stuffing these for my month ahead I decided to um, actually just use this binder just for my bill pay and then I'm going to start a high priority binder so that is it for my bills binder I stuffed a total of $240 in my bills which leaves me with $360 left going into my variable expenses. Let me get this situated. And 
then I am going to sit this to the side over here. And let's start with our variable expenses. Okay. Ooh, I got coins. Let me get these coins out of here. So while I'm getting this out, y'all tell me how y'all been doing. How's your journey going? Um, how's the weather? Let me know and down, down in the comments. Um, here's my change. As prices been increasing, you know, where you all live, because I feel like I am running out of money these days. Um, even with with my budget i just feel like i'm just over spending for some reason let me go let me know if you all are having the same issue i'm i'm not sure maybe it's just me um so let's get this stuff and let's get this grocery going um i am going to stuff 125 this week for groceries guys because like i said price has been going up i guess I haven't been really paying attention, but I know when I went grocery shopping last pay period, it seemed like I didn't get as much. It seemed like I went over, you know, over in my spending. But y'all, let, let me know what you all think. Let's get this grocery stuff. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 20, 20, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 25. So yeah, guys, these prices are starting to like drive me crazy. Gas is up. It's ever um in gas we are going to stuff 75 i did have some gas left over i tried my i mean some gas money left over guys i tried my best not to go anywhere that i didn't have to go i ended up with ten dollars left over so i didn't um use too much gas so i think i'm just going to leave this in here because who knows gas may I'm sorry about that. Gas may um, creep up a little bit more. So I'm just going to leave this here for now. We'll see how that goes. But gas is going to get $75, which is a 20, a 50, 70, and 75. So we have a total of $85 in our gas. 50, 70, 75, 80, 85. But yeah, gas is kind of ridiculous right now. It's like, um, I was just saying, it's, it's going to be get to a point like, are we going to buy gas to go to work <laughs> or eat? It, it's, it, I feel like it's just coming to that. It's gas or eat. I mean, we I know we have to go to work because if we don't go to work, we really can't eat. But it's like, oh my God, it's horrible, ridiculous. For eating out, we are going to do um, 35. Now these prices are getting up there ridiculously. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. All right. And for spending, I think I have ten dollars for spending, which is two fives, five ten. Okay. 
for household. We did 10. Let's do it this way. For medication, we are not getting anything. Um, I do have to take this to the bank and deposit it. Um, let's see. My one dollars. Let's pull those out. Because we are saving all of our one dollar bills. And that goes into our savings challenge. Um, lunch money will be getting... $20. This is something that I am stuffing. I actually started stuffing for my lunch money um, last week. So um, this is probably something that I'll just have just to the side when I can't come home for lunch. So I will be putting 20 in here, which will be 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's count that to make sure. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I had five left over, so that left me with $25. 10, 20. Y'all, what am I doing? 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I have been getting ahead of myself the entire video. I'm not sure why. Um, I am overdoing this. Oh, for thirst trap. Let me take, let me do this. How about this? That five I had left over, I want to put that in my thirst trap. Because I might want to go get me a, um, something to drink while I'm out one day. And I actually totally forgot about this envelope that I put this in here last week. Beauty isn't getting anything this week. I still have that 10 that I stuffed in there from last week. Still have that in there. Um, six isn't getting anything of, as of yet. Um, or I won't be stuffing my manifest either. So that is all for my variable funds. Um... I will be stuffing for emergency funds next, which is in my sinkings fund binder. Um, emergency funds will get 50. It's normal 50 for the week, and let's see how much we have. So, for emergency funds, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 700. We have $700. And let me write this on here really quick. I think that is all for this binder. Yeah, that's it for this binder. And which, like I mentioned earlier, I will be separating my my binder, in which I will do like a high priority and a um, low priority. I think I think that's how I want to do it. Um, 
I am thinking about switching out my binders. I know I have plenty right now, but I think I'm going to add an extra one just to be on the safe side. So that is it for this binder. Next, we will be doing my extra savings. And which Kanaya will be the only one getting stuff in this binder, I think. Kanaya will be getting 20 and 25. And she has a total of 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 115, 120 dollars. Um, plus 25. What I said, 115. I hope that's right. 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 15, 120, 120, 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20. Ooh, let me get the light out. What is my light out? Oh, I put it in the pencil box here. So the rest of this will put this up, go back to my savings challenge envelope. And it is time to get this out of here and stuff some of this. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, which we have a lot of ones. I wonder if I can switch those out with something somewhere. So let's see how much we have in our savings challenges. Because we need to get a video out on that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. 159. We have a lot of dollars here. Sheesh. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 ones. I'm pretty sure we can find somewhere to put all of those. And my 52 week savings challenge um, or my 100 envelope savings challenge. I'm going to add these one dollars here. Um, and as for this money for my month ahead, I am going to grab an envelope real quick. Hold on one second. Okay. So for now, I am going to stick this in. Let's put it in extra savings for now. Can we afford to do this? Yes. So I'm just going to put it right here in front because I'm not going to leave it here. Let me see. I know I should have had this um, 
already but like I said I was gonna do this in a different video but might as well add it in here so this will be my month ahead instead of separating it in that other binder like I was doing at first I'm gonna add it here and let's count it and see how much you have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, and 77. So what I did, I made a, um, I'm sorry, I'm knocking things down. I made me a um, transaction sheet to go into my envelope here actually made a couple of them um so this is my month ahead this is in a bigger size so maybe you guys can see it a little bit better um but this is my my month ahead um okay can you see it better let me see put it up here just a little bit this is my month ahead. I hope my camera is focusing. Um, so I actually got I actually did just one thousand dollars on this one. Um just to get me started. I know it's gonna take more than a thousand dollars, so I will definitely be doing this more than once. Once I reach that thousand dollars, I will start over. But I did my jars here and I can actually put in a certain amount out of each paycheck or however I want I decide you know to do that so in this one I have um, I have $75 so let me see what I can color in so I can take um, Let's see, I can do, let's see, let's do a 50, see if I can do a 15, I know I can, a 15, and let me grab my, let me see if I can do it with a Sharpie. I'm gonna color on one of these first, to see what it'll look like. color in this 15 here and then I have uh, 40 20 30 40 I'm gonna color in this 40 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. Oh, I think I have a 22. I do. 22 right here. Okay. So what I actually did on here, each two jars, every two jars is worth $55, right? So... 40 and 15 is 55 30 25 is 55 and it goes on and on and then I have um, a zero day where you add 55 one week and do zero so it is 36 jars on here total um, so that's why I did them um, like this. it's 36 jars total you have two jars on a zero but at the end 
instead of doing a zero here, 55, and I did a 10 to kind of cover those two um, to get the actual thousand because without that, that 10 is, it'll be a total of $990. So I just added that extra 10 and that to round it off and make a total of $30. But we have that covered. Let me get this put up. And let me know if you guys think this is like a kind of a good idea. So this is how I'm gonna keep track of what I'm actually stuffing. Yeah, so we just slide that in there. Just like that. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. Let me do um, get some of these 100s out of here because I will be needing these placeholders. Just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to replace that with that thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So J Man has a total of two thousand dollars in the bank for his vehicle, and I think that's all that he wanted to put back um, for his car. I'm not sure um, that's all he's going to put back because he knows that his money will be matched, if not double matched. Um, but that is all for this video and if you guys stuck with me to the end because i know i did a lot in this video i really appreciate you um thank you thank you thank you thank you if you don't mind hitting that like subscribe button also hitting that notification bell leaving me a content leaving me a comment not leaving me a content leave me a comment guys and let me know what you all think um but as always be blessed queenies bye